Time to change the axle? Outside in the winter, I already did one. Now I'll film the second one. First, you gotta take the tire off. Crack the bolts. And then if... Get this guy from Princess Auto. And then you can... That's what I'm talking about. Take that tire. Next, I like to turn the wheel so I can get easier access to all these bolts. Because the caliper's coming off and the two top strut bolts. Now that the wheel's turned and it's easier to get in there with the wrench, use a breaker bar and crack the caliper bolts. And then... And then, again, with the wheel turned, easy access. Use your drill. Take those caliper bolts off. Well, here we are the next day. Uh, a nice, cool minus 10. Because, uh, of course, Napa gave me the wrong axle. But they're still in my good books. So, to be continued, here we are, taking off the caliper, yeah that axle was done, you can see her nuts. So we take the caliper off and we tie her up. One hour later, tying it up with three layers of gloves on. Try doing a knot with that. It's time to uh, remove the strut bolts. One again. Removing the strut bolts. I have a rubber hammer, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, all the way. <sighs> Holding the phone, minus 10, removing the strut bolt. Yeah, this'll take two hands, sorry guys. Always respecting where you live. Put it, you know, cardboard is the bomb. To kneel on this is two layers respecting where you live putting the cardboard the tranny fluid from the other side you know just it's a nice asphalt driveway get that ready straightening the wheel out again to remove the axle is best I noticed if the wheels turned it doesn't come out so easy so we're gonna pull that out I've already pushed it out and it's a long one this one we'll get that axle out the part with the crowbar I can't film it's brutal and it requires everything I got in two hands we'll get that out in a minute well you guys missed a lot there pretty sure it's in it popped out it popped in if there was a speed sensor, which I went underneath and checked, you've got to remove that speed sensor first because apparently this works on GM vehicles too. I'm pretty sure I got it in. And then once I got myself right down there on my back and I popped it out, it came out pretty easy. There's the old one. There's no speed sensor. There's no... Uh, there's no weird uh, corkscrew gear, so this one doesn't have it. But you got to make sure if there's a speed sensor. There's the old one out. I had to wiggle the... Oh, let's put the bolts back in. Uh, that was a lot of... On my back. There's a little bit sticking out there, but it's normal. 
Get that big washer, the little thing, the big nut. We're on our way.